Um, a special person made a special visit this week to DFW, Shaquille O'Neal. You know, he says he's looking for a house in Dallas, but that was not the reason for his trip. The world-renowned big man giving some young people big incentive to shoot for the moon. When a larger-than-life figure enters a room and makes his way through a crowd, it's impossible to ignore, especially when it's Shaquille O'Neal coming to support young people in the state of Texas where he spent much of his childhood. I have children, so I'm very well-versed in this area. You just, you just have to try to give them positive motivation. A child can't be what a child can't see. Uh, and so St. Phillips continually tries to expose our students to greatness. The greatness of always being head and shoulders above the rest in the sport of basketball, the business world, and as a philanthropist. As a guest of honor at the annual awards luncheon, Shaq giving students from the St. Philip School of Dallas a real-life standard of excellence they can shoot for. I would just like to tell them about myself and what I do. I just that I'm a straight-A student and I also play basketball. And in turn, Shaq made it his mission to tell them simple things that really helped him. Advice that could be considered a three-pointer. First thing I tell them, and it's it's very simple, I tell them, listen to your mommy and daddy. First thing I tell them, I tell them, I'm just like you. The second thing I tell them is be a leader, not a follower. And the third thing I tell them is, is you know, always follow your dreams no matter what. It fits, it fits. Little did some of the youngsters know Shaq was about to try his interviewing skills on for size. And what's your favorite subject? Um, science. And what's that guy that sits next to you in school? Wait, what do you mean? It's a, it's a dude that sits next to you. What's his name? Um, oh, his name is Neiman. I know you know his name because he's your boyfriend. Yeah. <laughs> He's your little boyfriend, yeah. He told me he was your boyfriend. Get on out of here. Get on out of here. What was your favorite city that you liked to play in? Dallas was one of them. Uh, probably Toronto and probably Miami. How old are you? Uh, I'm 15. I can't tell you why they were my favorite cities. You're too young. <laughs> Get on out of here. Get on out of here. <laughs> Asking me those crazy questions. <laughs> There's no question that for most of the young people, the afternoon provided a chance to see the biggest star they may ever meet who transcends sports. Because keep in mind, these kids weren't even alive for his playing career. And especially for kids that are uh, more to underserve or minority kids, they need to see some living examples of what success looks like. And they need to see it on the basketball court, but they also need to see it in the business world. And there's no doubt this was a lesson that will last a lifetime. When I grow up, I want to be a mechanical engineer. All right. All right. Do me a favor. So when I grow up, I will be a mechanical engineer. When I grow up, I will be a mechanical engineer. And all of you. And all of you. Will invest. Will invest. In my company. In my company. So I can be rich. So I can be rich. Like you all. Like you all. <laughs> St. Phillips is a faith-based school in southern Dallas serving students from PK2 through 6th grade. This fall, it will expand to 7th grade. Next year, 8th grade, 100% of their students go to high school. Over 90% go to college. Wow. Uh, Brooke, people don't realize Shaq was born in New Jersey, but he spent a lot of his childhood in San Antonio, Texas. He comes from an Army family, and he said the one thing when he says, listen to your mother and father, yep. he was a mediocre student. And he didn't necessarily know what he could be until his mom said, yeah, you can be whatever you want. And as soon as he started to achieve, he said, mom, you were right. Yeah, and I love how he told those kids or that little kid at the end, you know, don't say I want to be, I will be. Don't what a good lesson. That is a monumental lesson.